Good afternoon, everybody. Just a quick update on the on the army truck. Of course, it has to look like a war zone around here. That's how it is when you're under construction. But yesterday, with the, the help of the local handyman and a pretty good sized loader, <laughs> we got this thing sitting in there. It uh, was a little harder than it needed to be, but that's how these things go. But it does fit. Well, I knew that before I started, but I didn't, I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I wish I would have took some pictures of those engine mounts. Uh, took a little bit of heavy thinking. I'll try to crawl underneath there so you can see them a little better. Still not good enough. Okay, there we go. The one, hey, can you see how that one is behind the bell housing? And that one is basically ahead of it. That was where all the head scratching and heavy thinking came in. But it went in there. I think the oil pan might get a little close to the front diff sooner or later. I'm hoping not. And the exhaust is uh, creating a bit of a conflict, but oh, it'll need a pretty substantial dog leg in it to avoid everything. But it, it's not all bad. I wish I would have took a couple pictures of them the engine mounts for you before I put it in there, but it got busy, you know how it goes. Ah, oh, one second. So, I haven't fabricated the front engine mount yet, but the C channel's here. And this engine had to be, uh, well, the old engine was level. Usually the gas engines are higher in the front. So, uh, that's not the end of the world, but I might lift the front of the engine up a little bit more. I'm glad that the distributor has got as much room as it does. And of course, uh, of course that steering column and the exhaust manifold are awfully close. When the hood's closed, there's about Oh, I don't know, almost, well, there's enough room for any air cleaner under there. So later today, I'm going to take that carburetor off, that four barrel holly, which is intended, well, that's the one that came with this engine. Take it out and I'll be putting one off of an automotive application on there. It won't, it's not a holly, but a quadrajet. I, the... Uh, Carburetor adapter is here for it already, so it'll go from a, a square bore Holly to a spread bore quadrajet Not that that's a lot, you know, the best thing to do, but it'll work uh, Just fine. I wouldn't use if I was going to use this truck in an application where it was going to be working uh, under full power for sustained periods of time then you, you have to use a carburetor like that just because it's it's meant to run it in an over rich situation so you don't burn the engine up the other carburetor that i'm that'll go on there it'll still give it probably about as much power it just won't be uh, as rich as that so if if i was to use it under full power for, you know, like climbing the river hill or something, pulling a heavy load, the engine would would heat up internally and uh, cook it. <laughs> but for around the yard to move a trailer around and use this truck for the, what I use it for, it, it's probably better off to run uh, quite a bit leaner. And I'll use that distributor very likely be using that one. It doesn't have vacuum advance. 
So if it had uh, vacuum advance on it, of course it would uh, lend itself better to op automotive applications, but uh, I'd, when this truck was running before, I don't think I used it two hours a year. So uh, a little, ex little extra fuel won't make that much difference. And I really, well, I'm quite sure this, this thing's gonna be running on propane anyway. So, oh, and I gotta adjust the clutch some more. This uh, engine installation, the flywheel is an inch and three eighths further inset. So the, the flywheel is physically an inch and three eighths further ahead than the, the old engine was, which you can work around it. I moved the adjustment or I took the spline off the clutch linkage and moved the throw it bearing uh, just about far enough ahead, <laughs> I should have put it where I thought it needed to be. I played it safe and uh, moved it ahead about an inch and an eighth. Now I wish I would have went the rest of the way, but that's I, there's enough uh, adjustment in the linkage that I can I can make up for that no problem without pulling the engine out. So that's where where this is at. And like I said, that's probably the end of the high visual progress for a while. Um, I gotta go to work, so I'll be gone for a few days or a week or whatever. When I get back, hopefully uh, the weather will cooperate and I can get some more work done. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.